Hello friends, very good morning. Myself, Dr. M. H. Anaya. And uh, in today's session, we have a, a problem on this square lamina. So this square lamina, A, B, C, D, has a dimension of 30 millimeter. That is to say, every side, A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A, measure 30 mm each. He says, it touches VP at a height of 15 mm from HP while the side opposite to that touches HP. Friends, here in this particular problem, the square lamina is touching both HP and VP by the by one of the side on HP and the other side is touching the VP. That is, if AB is on HP, then CD will be on VP. So friends, First of all, let us place this lamina on HP such that the side AB is perpendicular to VP and obtain its top view and front view. So friends, in the top view, you see the lamina as a square of 30 mm side and in the front view, you see it as a line. So I have marked the XY line representing the intersection of the vertical plane and the horizontal plane and here I am going to mark a square of 40 millimeter side keeping one of the sides of this lamina say this side AB normal to VP means perpendicular to VP so this point is B this is C and finally this is D now I am placing this lamina having side 30 mm so I can call it as 30 SQ and mark the top view corresponding to this friend I told you it is going to be a line on XY so I just produce this line so you get a point A dash and point B dash on XY similarly from C and D you are going to get C dash D dash for this bit so the line A dash B dash C dash D dash on XY represents the front view of the lamina which is resting on HP with one of the sides AB normal to VP. Friends, I call this length of the front view as M. This M in this particular problem is 30 because it is a square. This will have a dimension 30. In other lamina like uh, the pentagon, hexagon, etc. You can keep a scale and measure the length of that. Friends, we have got the front view and top view of the lamina. When the lamina is resting on HP, on its surface. He says, the side opposite, suppose it is resting on side AB. The side opposite to that is CD, which is at a height of how much? 15 millimeter from HP. Friends, here I am going to draw a line at a height of 15 millimeter from the XY or from HP. Now I have to redraw this figure here so that you will be able to get what inclination the surface is making with the HP. So take some point at random. We will call this point again as A dash B dash and with this center A dash B dash and radius equal to M that is equal to 30 mm you strike an arc to cut this line drawn at 15 millimeter height from the base at the point C dash D dash C dash D dash is the other edge A dash B dash is the edge of the lamina which is on HP and friends if you keep a protractor and measure you will get theta theta is the inclination of the surface of the lamina with HP when that edge is 15 mm above HP. So the last part of the question that is what is the angle made by the line surface of the lamina with HP can be measured here. Now he says one of the side is on HP the other side has to be on VP. Before that let's complete how the lamina looks with this inclination. So friends, the procedure is very simple. You start from the point DA. 
a vertical line from A, a horizontal line from A, the point where those two intersect is point A. Likewise, the point of intersection of vertical from B, the horizontal from B will give you the point B. Likewise, you can get from for C and D. So, this is going to be the point C and this is going to be point D. Friends, you have got the top view of this lamina when the surface is making an angle theta with HP. No friends, this length will remain 30, this will remain 30 because this edge is on HP and this edge is parallel to that. Whereas this dimension AD and BC are reduced depending on the value of theta, the inclination of the surface. More the surface is inclined, lesser will be the width. So this dimension is going to be less than 30. It could be 25, 30, 27, whatever it may be. Now friends, the lamina is resting on side AB on HP. The opposite side is 15 mm above HP. But in the question he says, draw the projections of the lamina when the he says here, well, so opposite side is stretches HP. Draw its projections and determine the angle made by the line or the surface with the HP. Okay, BC has to be, so side AB has to be on HP, CD has to be on VP. So I am going to redraw this figure here with CD on this. So this will be your C dash, D dash, sorry. And I am going to redraw this figure here. This is going to be the final top view. That is to say, this is C, D, and this is A, D. A, B, C, D is this figure redrawn. So these two figures are the same. Then get the corresponding front view for this. So uh, to get this point, let's see, draw the line one by one. Vertical line from A, horizontal line from here. They meet at this point, we call it as A dash. Vertical line from B, horizontal line from B dash, they meet at this point, we call it as B dash. Similarly, we are going to get the other two corners, namely C and D. That is, this point is C dash and this point is D dash. Friends, finally, this figure A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash will give you the final print view of the lamina and this ABCD will give you the final top view of the lamina. Friends, if you observe here, the side AB is on HP. So since it is on HP, you can see it is a line on the XY line that is in the print view. CD is above this. So that CD distance in CD is touching the vertical plane or the wall, it has to be on this CD. So we have got the complete solution and this will give you the print view of the lamina finally and this will give you the top view of the lamina. Friends, I hope uh, you have followed the procedure to draw the projection of the square lamina where the lamina is stretching the horizontal plane by one side and the opposite side is stretching the vertical plane at a height of 15 mm and friends if you are happy with the presentation I have made on this lamina please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you forward this message to all your friends thank you friends have a wonderful day